We will start with the slip knot. And we will chain actually six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch in the first, and I like to have the tail end also incorporated. Up, oh, slip stitch, <laughs> not single crochet. Slip stitch, there you go. Now, one chain for the beginning of this round, the first round. We'll do 12 single crochet. One. Two. Three. Four. There are my 12 single crochet and I'll slip stitch again in the first of the um, first round. I will do another round of 12 single crochet. And I'll continue my work in a spiral. In the next one, two, this con concludes my twelfth one. This is my first round. Now going into my second round, or actually this is the second round. Now I will place this piece of yarn to mark the beginning, or actually this is the last of this, last stitch of this row. And I will continue with two double crochet, uh, two single crochet in each stitch, in each loop from the previous row. So that's one, two, three, four. You should come up with 24 single crochet in all. This following row uh, will be single crochet in each, one single crochet in each stitch. Therefore, that's one, which will be again 24 single crochet in this round. Now I can pull through. One single stitch and in the next two single stitches. So one single and two in this next one and I will alternate this way one and two four 
for this row you would finish with 30 with 30, 36 single crochet There, I'll pull through to show my beginning again. Next, this this round, next following round is single crochet. One single crochet in each stitch from the previous row. And I'll forward it. I'll cut and forward so you don't spend too much time. You can stop the recording if you'd like. Now for this uh, next round, which is round eight. I will, what I will do is, um, I will single crochet two in two different single crochet stitches from the previous round and the third and fourth single crochet will be in one and the same crochet loop from the previous round there. So again I will do two single crochet in, in consecutive um, single crochet from the previous round and two single crochet in the third one single crochet and one single crochet now two single crochets in this third single crochet from the previous round and I will continue this round as is. You will do um, sing one single crochet in each our previous single crochet from the round below. So let's get started. So round six and seven you do one single crochet each time in each um I'll show you So for this next row we'll do three single crochet in each so three single crochet and now in each consecutive um, stitch and two single crochet in the fourth single crochet from the previous row okay and this is alternating throughout this row so three single crochet and two single crochet in the fourth single crochet from the previous row 
as you move on, you'll do two rows of single crochet and the third row would always be uh, the next would be four single crochet in four uh, stitches and in the fifth we would do a two single crochet so we add on each one more single crochet in each line in each row and you can uh, make the make it as wide as you would like as you, as you desire it for a pillow whichever dimension you choose what I'm doing here is um, making a kind of a pattern here for it to be able to fold over when I make my little basket so I'll go in the back loop and make my single crochet back loop single crochet on the back loop I do my single crochet single crochet in my back loop there now I am at the beginning one more there this is my beginning here of this row therefore I'm going to continue now with single crochet stitches how I did before how I did earlier I'm going to continue and every once in a while I might make a, one of these not sure yet okay but uh, single stitches the same amount I'm not increasing anymore I'm leaving it this way so this is my base as you can see and I would continue then from this row on I would only crochet single crochet up to the top here so it's however high you would like to have it and I finished it with three rows of slip stitches this these slip stitches tightened the top to make it look like a a contained bowl 